Hey everybody, so I wanted to come on here and do another educational video. I talk a lot about skin prep, right? Leading up to a flawless face um, when it comes to your makeup foundation. But you have a tendency to just focus on one thing and neglect the other parts of the process when it comes to creating longevity for your makeup. For your foundation specifically okay i wanted to break it down real quick of what i love to do on myself and also my clients and hey you may just learn something okay you have to have the right proper skin prep products so having the right skin prep products would set you up for success so when it comes to basically your foundation lasting long and for the foundation to adhere to your face, okay? Just as simple as that. But while you have your skin prep on, you got your hydration and your moisturizer on, et cetera, your mist and your moisturizer, and um, we have a tendency to just go straight into a primer. Nine times out of 10, your primer is mattifying or has some mattifying capabilities in it. So you do have to understand that once you put a primer on immediately after you got your skin prep going on your face, it defeats the purpose of you prepping your skin during skin prep because mattifying a mattifying primer just mattifies the area. And we also have a tendency <laughs> to, I'm, put, I'm saying we as you guys, but um, have a tendency to put it everywhere instead of in the areas that is most needed. So two things, you want to wait for the skin prep to adhere to the skin, to seep inside the skin. I would say give it about five minutes to fully uh, uh, be in the skin, right? So you can jade roll, I do sell jade rollers, so you can jade roll your face, which gives more benefit to your face, um, especially with during the skin prep process, and it helps to further push the skin prep products into the skin. It helps to minimize uh, any puffiness underneath the eyes. And if you have a headache that day, it's perfect for that as well. Tightens the skin. So in the meantime, while you're waiting for five minutes, you can just jade roll don't want to immediately go into your primer. Your primer is there to help control the oils that um, come out naturally you know, throughout the day if you're an oily person or a combination, combination skin, okay? So that is the key. So you don't want to ruin your skin prep, which is going to help with the longevity of the foundation, if that makes any sense. And the last thing is to set everything wet, okay? And what I mean by that is you want to have a, a loose setting powder. I like to do two things. This is kind of like my way, of, my way of making sure everything sits into place. You want to grab a loose setting powder um, and I'm going to put one that I love down in here. I have two that I love. So you want to have a loose setting powder. I'm gonna insert in the video how I like to uh, the loose powder onto how to lock it into place. Also, I like to reinforce with colored pressed powders um, that are pigmented, that, that have pretty much medium to full coverage, right? Um, but still gives me that longevity, that skin-like appearance. That's why I love to use, okay? To basically tie everything together and to reinforce just to make sure everything is locked and loaded, okay? So two ways I like to set. The first way is with a loose setting powder. It helps to lock everything that is wet, okay? All right, and you wanna do this in patting motions, roll and pat motions, okay, with a brush. You can also do it with a sponge. It's not my favorite, but it is an option. You have to think that makeup is not your skin. 
right? So I'm going to say that again. Makeup or foundation is not your skin. It is a product that you are applying to the face, right? And so as you see my face now, my face is constantly moving. My eyes are moving, my lips, my nose, my whole entire face, the muscles are moving, the skin is moving. So if there's product, um, a liquid or a cream foundation on the skin, it, I'm, there's, it's going to continue to move until you set it with something dry. So the product or the foundation will continue to move even though it doesn't seem like it, it is, it will continue to move unless it is set with something dry, okay? The way you will have to set it is that you basically want to, because you know, before you get to setting your face, you're moving around, your face is still moving around, your eyes are, are moving around, etc. So you want to make sure you're mending the foundation back together right with a sponge with a damp sponge you're pressing and mending it back together kind of like clay and then you want to set okay set with the if you're I set the highlighted areas first so I set with the eyes looking up right and not moving <laughs> if it looks if they look down or if I look down I want to make sure that I'm mending it back together and then setting um, it being you know being together because you don't want to set creases because if you set creases the creases are set and therefore you have creases <laughs> you know throughout the entire makeup look you know for how long you're gonna wear it for it so that is my I guess my trick of the trade I, I love to treat it as a, an entire process for longevity and for how my makeup how the foundation looks on my clients and how it looks on myself I love for it to look like your in your skin <laughs> but um, this is how I do it and this has been working for me for the longest um, I've tested different ways to do this to uh, set the face and by far in the climate that I'm in in the state that I'm in this has been working for me okay so I hope it helps you as well oh, we're gonna recap for longevity with your foundation you do need to make sure number one you have the proper skin prep that is catered to your skin type okay you do need something to hydrate the face like a mist and you do need to properly have a proper moisturizer to properly moisturize the, the entire face no matter if you're oily okay the second part to longevity in your foundation is to set everything wet and what I mean by wet wet would be your foundation whether it be cream or liquid you need to set everything wet and you're gonna set in patting motions okay with loose powder and then you can reinforce it with a colored pressed powder okay I hope these tips help um, you achieve the most beautiful foundation flawless look ever um, and if it, if my tips have worked for you let me know in the comments or in the DMs and don't forget to like share and comment <laughs> all right bye